What's up everyone, my name is Teja and in this video I'm going to teach you how to shut down your computer using your Android device. Well, uh, this video is going to be a special video for me because this is my first Android app release video. So the name of the app is TR Remote Control or TR Remote Shutdown PC, remember that name. Or uh, you can call it the either way. Well, using this app you can actually shut down your PC, your computer using your Android device, any of your Android device. So note that this app doesn't require a network connection between your Android device and your computer. Uh, it doesn't even require a Bluetooth connection between your Android device and your computer, but it just requires one thing. That is, both your Android device and your computer should have internet access. Well, that's it. That's the thing it requires. And yeah, it may be any type of internet connection, uh, it may be a wireless network, it may be an Ethernet, it may be a cellular network, it doesn't matter. All that it matters is uh, your, you know, both of your Android device and your computer should have internet access. So let's go get started. So firstly, you got to download the desktop app and then co configure your Windows computer using that desktop app. Well, uh, if you want to download the desktop app, you can visit my website at techraj156.com. Uh, you can also check the description for the link. So just go to, the, go to my website and then download the desktop app. So here is my website techraj156.com and once you go into this website, you will find a menu. Uh, in that menu, you can find an option which says TR Remote Control. So just go click on that and then you will be directed to this page. Okay, now you can see some uh, five steps over here. And in the first step, you can see download the TR Remote Control desktop app click here to download so just go ahead and click on this link here and then you will be redirected to a media fire link so just wait so here we go this is the media file link and this is a file it's a 1.44 MB so just click on the green download button and then the download should start automatically And once the file is downloaded, here is how it's going to look like. It's going to say TR Remote Control Setup. So it is of a .exe extension. It is actually a setup file. So anyway, so once the file is downloaded, double click on the file and uh, you will see something uh, administrative rights. Just give it the administrative rights and then you will see uh, installer come up on your screen. So this is the installer. So simply click on next and uh, here you read this. It says that this program requires internet connection and also access to your Gmail account. It is recommended that you create a new Gmail account and then configure this app but not use your existing Gmail account. However, this app does not store your Gmail credentials. So that's what it says here. Well, just read this and then click on the next button and uh, choose the directory to where you want to install this uh, TR Remote Shutdown PC software. So I'm going to let it be the default one that is in the C program files slash TR Remote Shutdown PC. So just choose the uh, directory and then click on next. And once again, click on start and this should install the TR Remote Shutdown PC. And here we go. So once the install is done, you just click on read me first important file. Uh, if you click on that, you will see a text file open up on your screen like this. So just read this file. Uh, this is a really important thing. So just read this thing. And once you read this thing, just click on next. And then also make sure that you check this launch TR remote shutdown PC, uh, you know, checkbox here. And then click on next. And then click on exit. Alright, before getting started, let me tell you one thing, that is, your antivirus or your Windows Firefall is going to uh, detect this file, this application as a harmful one, because it, it knows that this app is capable of shutting down your computer, and hence, your antivirus or your Firefall assumes that this app is harmful to your computer. So believe me, this is not actually a virus. It, it is only the assumption of your antivirus or your firefall that this app is harmful. So you need to add this uh, application to the uh, list of uh, exclusions on your Windows firefall. So in order to do that, just follow me. Uh, just uh, click on your start menu and then type in something like firewall. And then you will see something like Windows firefall in the search results. So just open it. And here is how it's going to look like. And uh, in the uh, top left corner of the screen, you will see an option which says allow an app or feature through Windows Firefall. 
just click on that one and then you will see something like this and now over here you got to select change settings and then you got to select allow another app and now you got to browse the folder to which your uh, app is installed uh, in my case my app is installed at local disk C program files into 86 and then TR remote shutdown PC and here is the application so I'm gonna select this application and then I'm gonna select add and then that app is going to uh, add that that app is going to be added into the uh, list of exclusions and also make sure that you check mark this uh, application and then uh, select OK and that's it you have successfully added this app into the list of exclusions now that is not it if you are using Windows 10 then uh, you will have uh, one more thing like Windows Defender pre-installed now uh, Windows Defender is also going to report this uh, app as a harmful one and it's going to block this app so you got to add this app to the uh, list of exclusions on Windows Defender 2 so just open Windows Defender like this and uh, you will find something which says settings just click on settings and then a settings window open up on your screen and in this settings window uh, just scroll down and you will see uh, exclusions part now you can you got to select add an exclusion so once you select add an exclusion you will see uh, two options so you got to select uh, exclude a file and once you select that you got to browse the file where uh, you got to browse the you know destination where your uh, program is installed uh, in my case it is installed in program files uh, tr remote shutdown pc and here is the application so i'm going to choose this application and that's it now i have successfully added this uh, this program to the list of exclusions so that's it uh, and also if you're using any other antivirus like uh, Kaspersky or McAfee you also got to add this program as an exclusion in your antivirus too so we can search over the internet on about how to add a program to exclusions in your antivirus So that's it, uh, you're now ready to use this app. So firstly, it asks you to create a new password for this app to get started. So let me create a new password, like let me say test password. You can see your password by check marking this, test password. Okay, now just click on save password and continue. And it says password saved successfully. And then you'll see a form like this. Uh, it says that here you, you need to log in with your Gmail credentials. So it is recommended that you create a new Gmail account and then configure this app with that new Gmail credentials. So in order to create a new Gmail account, you can click on this link label over here. And once you click on that, uh, you'll be taken to a screen like this. Uh, in this screen, actually, you got to register uh, a new Gmail account. So let me uh, register the, my Gmail account and I'll be back once I registered my Gmail account. So once you are done creating a new Gmail account, just log in with your newly created uh, Gmail account credentials. I'm gonna do this now. And then enter the password. Enter uh, exact password, enter the correct password because if you enter a wrong password, that's going to give you an error message. So once you, once you fill in these both fields, just click on the login button. And it should take some time uh, to log into your account. And uh, if, if the login is successful, then it should say something like connected successfully. So just click on OK. And then uh, wait for some time. And here we go. It says you're done. TR remote control is minimized to system tray. It's up and running. So as soon as you see this message in your system tray, it means that you have successfully con configured your computer using the TR remote control desktop application. Now it's time for the Android application. So now switch to your Android device and then open your Play Store. And in the search box, type in TR Remote Shutdown and then search it. And then you will see a first app, TR Remote Shutdown PC. Just tap on that and then install this app. Once the install is done, just tap on the open button and then uh, you will see 
the app open up on your screen and this is how the app looks like now in the first screen here it says enter the gmail id with which you configured the desktop app so what you got to do here is uh, you got to enter the gmail id with which you have configured the desktop app so in my case uh, the email id with which i configured my desktop as app is going to be teja dot techraj156 at the rate gmail.com and then uh, tap on the continue button and over here in this screen it asks you to enter the password of your desktop app now we got to enter the uh, password of your desktop app which you, which you have created so in my case the password is test password uh, I have shown you earlier so just enter your app password exactly uh, also remember that this is case sensitive and after entering, the pa after entering the password just tap on the continue button and then uh, you will see uh, various options like this shut down, restart, hibernate, log off so let's say I want to shut down my computer I'll choose the shut down option so I'll tap on the shut down button so let me tap on the shut down button and there we go it says processing and then it says done and there we go the computer is being shut down which means that the app is running if you're watching this on your mobile click on the bell symbol and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video hit the subscribe button for more videos like my facebook page at facebook.com slash techcrosh156 follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash techcrosh156 Visit my website at techgarage156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.